I'm going to put on is a sorrel colt. His uh, sire is Night Owl Valentine. Night Owl Valentine is uh, a son of Leo Hancock Hayes. And so he, he goes back to Blue Valentine. But the, the bottom side has a lot of running blood on it. And so this Night Owl Valentine is actually a higher percentage Leo than Blue Valentine. The dam is Wind Sweet Lynx. And her sire is a uh, horse that I had, Red Rodeo Roan. And he was really a good sire. And for a while, and he produced a lot of good colts. And, uh, and some, I kept eating some some of his daughters around. And then uh, that Seabooger Lynx was uh, sired by him also. So those are just really good cow, cow bread. Um, She's actually a, a higher percentage three bars than anything else on her pedigree. So this colt, this sour colt, he, um, he had to really make a nice horse. And so I'll go ahead and we'll just put him on. You can watch Henson work him. He just has a handful of rides on him, uh, real gentle. He wants to go um, just real easy about everything. By Night Owl out of Sweet. Pretty smart. Has some go to him. Picture to 15 bands. Likes to go, has some speed, wants to run, wants to get fast. got a good mind he wants to go looks like he'll probably have a nice running walk to him he's definitely not lazy Everything that we've ridden out of his mother has been super easy, super nice, really smart. Same with the sire, Night Owl. Seems to be a pretty good combination. into a little pretty easy
these cows walk a full cattle guard down there. This is uh, not our pasture. This is the new lands relocation. So they're down there cleaning their cattle guard up, cleaning it out. Ross is over there. We just went and grabbed the ATV and we're going to push these cows back up, push them back where they, where they need to be. Cattle guards get full and those cows will walk across them. It's been a while. Moving down the road. Ross. They're kind of looking for the gate now. Can't ease them up through this gate. They haven't been through this gate, so they don't know about it. They came, they walked the cattle guard to a different area. All right, they figured it out, so got them through there. So they'll go back up to the water up there. That's the number two tank. So Ross is going to shut that gate. Ross, just shut the gate. This cattle guard um, isn't bad. It's cleaned out good enough. So got that gate up. But I think this cattle guard over here. Kind of filled in on the corners. It's still not real bad, but if we don't clean it, then they're going to start getting, just put that back up on the trailer over here. We got down by the house. And Easy to grab. Just catch these. I think there's a, a few more a little further down. So I guess we're going to go see. There's another group up there. Ross is going to go get them and push them up towards the gate. You'll see them over there on that fence line. So he'll go get them and just keep pushing them west. And I'll meet him up on the other side at the gate. The other group. It's got them. Move them up to the gate. It's Ross. We're gonna have to look for the gate now. Again, they they didn't cross up here. They crossed the cattle guard down below, so they don't really know where the gate is. They've never been through this gate, so they're gonna have to figure it out. I think one's figured it out. There they go. Ross will shut that gate now. Ross will that back up there on the trailer. It's cold today. It's a cold day. Got these others. I got these going south. Ross picked up those others over there. Got them going through the gate. What's up? What did the cow tell the butcher? Um, hey, stop! Or we're gonna have some beef. 